Hi everybody. I wanted to do a quick comparison between the world's smallest blower and the Yeho dryer. Um, I just got the Yeho in and I wanted to try it. So on this first tile, I'm going to use the world's smallest blower. I will say it's best if you take the little black attachment off. So here I'm just using some primary elements I have mixed up. The first one was Snapdragon. This one is Jasmine. And then I'm going to use some Blue Violet from Amsterdam and some Blue Bayou from Primary Elements. And uh, my cell activator is going to be uh, Bright Iridescent Gold from Golden. And I'm going to use the same colors for all four tiles. For the first two tiles, I'm going to just use the tool to blow it out for the most part. And the second two, I'm going to blow it out a little bit first and then use the tool. Um, my initial consensus is that the little leaf blower is a little easier to control. They both give a really good result. Um, the Yeho is a little more powerful and, and probably better for bigger pieces, but because all of the air blows out in a circle and not directly in the middle, I noticed that your middle tends to stay a little bit more um, in place instead of blowing out, but it still works great. So I took that little black piece off. It just slides right off. And when you blow, you really want to blow your cell activator across the top, not down into the bottom. Um, so if you're new to the bloom, I was blowing it right down into the bottom and, and um, it was taking a really long time to see the results. So now I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit before we spin it out. When I first tried this little blower, I tried it with the black part on and I was like, this thing is a piece of crap. But then I was like, I wonder if I take this thing off, if it would increase the amount of air that comes out. And then it was like night and day difference. So if you're going to use that blower, I would definitely recommend that you take the little black part off. So now we're going to spin it. Have a lot more cell action on one side because my tape underneath that tile is making it a little bit crooked. So you can see I'm trying to compensate a little bit for that. I would say both of these tools are really helpful for the bloom recipe. Um, I think it's just a matter of preference. If I was doing if I was starting off, I think I would start with the leaf blower because it provides more control. But when you start doing bigger pieces, I can see the value in, in using the Yeho. So I will use them both. Um, but when I was trying to decide, man, I would have loved to see somebody compare them. So I was like, hey, I'll do that because that I am a nerd. And before I buy something like that, I often want to get an idea of which one might work better. All right, gold cell activator. So this one's gonna be the Yeho. And I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, so forgive me. Now I'm sure with some practice, um, you can move it the right way and blow out the middle but you can see it blows out the outside a lot more and the middle's kind of staying there. But when you blow it out, some of that's going to stretch out. So pardon my face. I tried to get that big yellow spot. I'm trying to move around some of those cells and see if we can't close that gap. That's the other thing is that I only use the low setting and it blew the paint a lot more. So that's another thing to consider with the Yeho is it, it's a lot more powerful. Um, so it will take a lot more effort to try to control it. But again, on a big piece, you kind of need the powerful. So I'm um, sorry about my big head in the way. And while it is uh, coming back to the center, I'm just using some of that paint to cover the corners. I also notice because of the force, you get bigger cells. So if that's your preference, 
that's something to consider. You know, when you're spinning out a bloom, your cells are going to stretch pretty substantially. So I don't know that having bigger cells is either worse or better. But some people just really love the huge, juicy cells. I kind of like a mixture of the big and the small. I really like the small, too. So this one is going to be the leaf blower. But first, I'm just going to gently blow the bloom and spread out my cell activator, and then I'm going to use the tool. So this allows us to have a little bit more even coverage of cell activator before we spread it out. It's just a matter of preference. Some people like to do it that way. To each his own, you know. Man, that jasmine is so pretty. I really regret using Blue Bayou in this. Um, not because I don't love it. I do love it. But I think um, it would have been a lot richer of a purple pink. But I have so many pigments mixed up and I haven't had a ton of time to paint. So I just kind of grabbed them without any rhyme or reason. And I just love that gold. So this is a, I don't know if I told you guys, that's a golden heavy body. Sorry about my head. So I just kind of got it started. Again... See, I don't have the little black thing on there. So when I got it started, you'll notice that the lacing is a little bit more consistent throughout, and those little small cells are kind of all throughout. So there's definitely some bonuses to getting it started. You can also see the middle part starting to sell up. Um, by the way, my cell activator, my recipe, and all the ingredients I use are in the description box, but my cell activator is made with um, Australian Floetrol. I am going to try to do a test between an um, Australian Floetrol and an American Floetrol recipe that's pretty popular. Um, I just need to get permission from the person who created it, and I haven't actually used it, so it'll be an experiment for me too, but I know a lot of people are not really ready to bite the bullet and buy Aussie Floetrol, but it's amazing. All right, so this last one is going to be with the Yeeho, and I'm just going to get it started and blow it out just a little bit. Just a tip, if you're blowing with your with your mouth, if you're actually doing the traditional blowing without using a tool, a hair dryer, or whatever, um, again, blow across your paint. Get a good breath, um, but sometimes I think people misinterpret Shelley's instructions in the course, and they blow with all their might until they blow down to the very bottom. Um, you don't really want to do that. You want to um, blow your cell activator so it glides across your paint. So the best way I can describe it is just get a good consistent breath and blow it and kind of watch it skip across your paint and then reposition and do it again. You don't really want to blow down into your paint. That's one of the things I did wrong when I first started. And um, again, this is why taking the course is so beneficial because you learn from so many wonderful people um, I learned that from one of the members of our group. She's super helpful. So here's me trying to compensate for that middle part. And I over blew it and uh, ended up with that negative space right there where I blew too far down into it, like I was just talking about. And I had a really hard time trying to get rid of that. So it just ends up being some negative space later. But the cells that you do get when you get the blow right are so beautiful. I mean, look at that. Um, I do have a coupon code in the description box if you haven't taken Shelly's course. Um, I highly recommend it. You can learn from other people, and you should, but there's nothing quite like learning it from her and also having the ability to be part of the group to learn from other students. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, because of some of the recent economic stuff, the Australian dollar um, wasn't doing so great as well. So if you're going to take it, it's probably a better time than normal cost-wise. So the coupon code is in the description. Uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful change to acrylic pouring. I still love traditional acrylic pouring, but... There's just something kind of magical about Shelly's technique. And I like to do it in swipes and pseudo swipes and lots of different ways as well. I like kind of the weird turquoise veins that came from the blue and the gold. 
So now all I'm trying to do is get rid of that weird white spot. I only was able to kind of close the gap because you can see the cells are kind of overstretching. So anyway, I really hope that this was helpful for you guys. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, um, if you don't subscribe already, I would love it if you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.